coaxial system of circles. Now there is a important thing. What is coaxial system of circle? What is actually system of circles? Se system of circles for which the radical axis of each pair is same is called coaxial system. A little bit confusing. So we will see a little bit uh, this idea once we will see. When you take two circles, this is the radical axis. But for another two circles also, if this is the radical axis, for another circle, two circles also, this is the radical axis. We say this is all system of circles. So every pair of circles, every pair should have same radical axis. Same radical axis. The third concept is very, very, all these concepts which we are keeping in the boxes are very important. How do you represent the system of circles in a coaxial system? How do you represent the system of circles in a coaxial system? That is a very important thing. The This, this uh, make a note of it. We represent all the circles in a coaxial system by S plus lambda L is equal to 0. For IP, this is uh, very important. For all the circles in the coaxial system, is represented as s plus lambda l is equal to 0. Here, s is any of the circles, l is radical axis. s is any one of the circles, s is any one of the circles, any one of the circles and l is radical axis, l is radical axis. In this system, there are many circles, this side many circles, that side many circles. In this system, circles having zero radius, circles having zero radius, no radius, point circles are called limiting points. There, This is a, a question which is very important going to come in your exam many times. Limiting points, we will work out an example. You will see, the. we will write what is a limiting point. Limiting point is the in the coaxial system, circles with zero radius, circles with zero radius are called as limiting points. So, we will find them. Then, we have seen all the four concepts. We will repeat them once again. Uh, for uh, One is orthogonal circles. Look at this, orthogonal circles. Uh, I have given you the condition 2 G1 G2 plus 2 F1 F2 is C1 plus C2. 2 is radical axis. Very important. 3 is coaxial system. I am writing fourth is limiting points just if you concentrate on this limiting points on all these four points it is important it is enough if you concentrate on these four points it's enough what are the four points look at them carefully orthogonal circles radical axis system of coaxial circles representation s plus lambda l is equal to zero l is radical axis here limiting points Limiting points means points with zero radius. I mean circles with zero radius. Points are having any zero radius. Circles with zero radius are called limiting point. We will take up one example from this. One example from this. We will take one example here. One example here. They are most important. That is why let us consider in both the cases two examples. So let me take both the examples. My first example is. It is a important example. Uh, please look at this. Find the circle. Find the circle equation which is cutting or intersecting. It's cutting is rather a crude word which is intersecting intersecting the following circles. orthogonally this is a very important question look at this question find the circle equation which is intersecting the following circles orthogonally this is our aim first circle is x square plus y square is 16 second circle is x square plus y square minus 8x minus 4y minus 3 0 third circle is x square plus y square minus 2x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. This is the question. Please look at this very carefully. 
find the equation of the circle which is intersecting the following circles orthogonally. How do you find this? This is a stock question. A stock question means you can keep it as a stock and use it in the exam. How do you find the answer? Like a, let us look at these questions. What do we want? We want the equation of the circle. Okay. Uh, let us start with. Uh, now I I don't want to keep this. Please. Required circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Do you agree? That is required circle. I want g, I want f, I want c. How do we get uh, one and the same again? We are repeatedly telling that a circle being asked with three conditions. Now, it is orthogonal to this, it is orthogonal to this, it is orthogonal to this. Let us apply the conditions for one by one. It is orthogonal to this circle. 2g1 g2 here there is no g2 2 f1 f2 no f1 f2 is equal to c1 plus c2 a very important thing is when we are writing the equations 16 is this side you should take this 16 is this side so c minus 16 so c minus 16 you look at this 2 g1 g2 plus 2 f1 f2 is equal to c our c2 is not 16 in hurry you may do a mistake this is first equation second equation 2 g1 g2 the g2 is here 4 plus 2 f1 i am putting the steps directly 2 2 f1 f2 is equal to c1 minus c2 c minus 3 my second equation is also ready the third equation 2 g1 g2 that is 1 plus 2 f1 f2 that is minus 1 is equal to c minus 5 these are the three equations you can look at them now if you simplify this c is equal to 16 from first equation c is equal to 16 that makes your second equation as 8g plus 4f is equal to 13 third equation as 2g minus 2f as 16 minus 5 11 I am just solving. I kept the orthogonality condition on all the three circles and I am solving them. Now look at this. Now if you multiply the second equation by 2, I will multiply the second equation by 2. 8g plus 4f is equal to 13. If you multiply this by 2, 4g minus 4f is 22. Adding them, what do you get? 12g is 35. g is 35 by 12. Putting this in any of the equation. 2 into 35 by 12 that is 35 by 6 minus 2f is 11 from this you can find f equation um, f value uh, what do you get for f you know let us see our f is uh, 35 minus 12 f is 66 12 f is 35 minus 66 so this is 131 i think minus 31 minus 31 just look at this carefully my f is minus 31 by 12 what else you want you have f you have g you have c all of these three are here clearly f g c using them you can find the equation of the circle so when three circles one circle is intersecting three of the circles it can be done in a different way also but uh, you for board exam you accustom to one system only don't you take multiple uh, ways because in the exam you may not get the right idea it's always easy if you take the circle equation and apply the three conditions you can do otherwise you can uh, do in the radical access method also this is the first question i'll do one question on coaxial system lifting points uh, now this is uh, more we have come a long way now it's a time to discuss about limiting points limiting points the question which i am discussing is given in 2009 10 and 12 see its importance 2009 10 12 for seven marks what is the question it the question is uh, please look at this question find the limiting points of the circles x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0 and x square 
plus y square plus 5x plus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Let me please look at this. Find the limiting point. It's a little bit uh, dangerous idea. x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0. x square plus y square plus 5x plus y plus 4 is equal to 0. Finding the, find the limit points. If you know the procedure carefully for one problem, you can do any problem very well. I will give you the steps first. Step 1, find the radical axis. Step 1. There are three steps. Step 1, find the radical axis. How do you find the radical axis? S minus S dash is equal to 0. This is step 1. Step 2, take the system of circles as S plus lambda L is equal to 0. Take the system of circles as S plus lambda L is equal to 0. This is a cumbersome activity. So, you should put a lot of this thing in this. Step 2. And step 3, the final step is find radius and center from here. Yeah, for the system of system of circle means it represents many circles. There are a lot of circles that send this side. We want to pick out the points which has no radius. So, if you make radius as 0, you will get values of lambda. For that values of lambda, you get limiting points. Let me show this process one by one. You understand this.